Hallways can be boring and dark, especially if there's no windows and especially if you're in a basement. I'm Anna and I'm going to give this basement hallway some style and character. I'll be working on both ends of the hallway. This video focuses on this plain wall and color blocking. Color blocking is an easy and inexpensive way to create a feature wall, but it only looks good with perfectly crisp lines. And I happen to have some tricks for that. I'm going to paint a band of color along this wall and around the corner. And I know I want that band to be 16 inches wide, but I still just have to figure out the height. I've decided that I'd like it at 55 inches. And if I add the 16 inches, I'd like that height. So I'm going to make a little mark here at 55 inches. I have a handy laser level that suctions to the wall. So I'm going to just make a line lined up with my little tick that I made here, and then just make several little ticks all the way down the wall so I know where I'm gonna line up my tape. I'm now gonna start taping off my line, and I am using frog tape, but this isn't the trick to perfectly crisp lines. I mean, it helps, but it's not the real trick. Rip off a piece that you find easy to work with, like maybe like an arm's length. Stretch it out and match up with your markings. Press it on nice to make sure you're getting the seam. Nice and tight. And then just keep going. Now that the taping's done, it's time for the real magic. Okay, it's gonna seem a bit mundane, but really, it creates magic. Using the same color as this wall, I'm going to paint over the tape to create a seal. If any paint does happen to bleed through, it's going to be the same color as the wall, and it won't look like bleed through. The white base coat is dry now, so my wall's all dry and it's ready to be painted the accent color. Look, I match the walls. I'm like some color block. I could do like that color flash where you blend into the background. Okay, no, seriously. Okay, well that's the first coat of paint done. I know it will need one more coat and then we'll be able to take off the tape and see my perfect crisp lines. They'll be right, they'll be perfect, right? They'll be, no, it's gonna be, we did everything right, so it's gonna be perfect. I just finished the second coat and the paint is still wet, but this is the time to take off the tape. Yeah, you take it off while the paint is still wet. So let's check out these crisp lines. When you're pulling off the paint, pull it off at a 45 degree angle like this. And look at these lines. So the lines turned out crisp and perfect. Isn't that a great little trick? It's so easy. I mean, it's not like you have to get anything extra and you get perfect, perfect lines. <sighs> Unless you paint the door frame, which is what I did down there. So um, I did the perfect crisp lines, but I made a little bit of a boo-boo on the door frame. So I'm gonna have to paint over that in white. I'm going to add some art to the color blocking, but first I have to make it. I have three thrifted frames and the wood ones I'm just going to clean up and then I will be framing wallpaper that I'm going to be using on the other end of the hallway. So that's in another video to come still. But 
for the gold one, that's like to me the centerpiece of the frames. And I've already done this before, like this kind of artwork, and I really like how it turned out. It's actually this artwork right here behind me. And what that is, is textured paper with one of these on it. And this is a placemat from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, so I'm framing a Dollar Tree placemat, but I love how it turned out. For my textured paper, I'm using watercolor paper. It's nicely textured. I don't know how to paint with watercolors. I think it's beautiful. If you did know how to do watercolors, you could do like a nice kind of something behind it, on it, like behind the mat, but I don't have that skill yet. Maybe never, maybe, we'll see. But watercolor paper, placemat, and frame. So let's put it together. I have my textured paper cut to size and I just need to glue it on to the backing of the picture frame. So I'm just using regular school glue. You could leave the backing plain white but I really want to bring out the texture of the paper. That's what I like about the textured paper. So I have two colors of pink and I'm going to be doing some dry brushing. Dry brushing is just you put some bright paint on your brush, very little, and then you brush most of it off and then you just quickly go over whatever you're trying to dry brush. If you were like really talented and you could do like watercolors, I think watercolors just like in the background will look amazing. I just don't know how to do that. I mean, I should learn, but I don't know how to do that. So dry brushing it is. I'm gonna start with the lighter paint. I'm just gonna dab some on my brush and then brush off most of it. So when I go over, I'm only gonna see just very little. Just like a really, I still get to see the texture and you still get to see the white. I'm not painting everything pink. So here we go. So that's dab, brush off, and then brush on. I'm not bothering to wash my brush in between because I want the colors to blend. And that's it. Okay, you might be thinking, um, that's just pink splotches all over some white paper. It is, but it looks really good when you add this lovely face mat. Like this, you're like, yeah, just splotches, but you add this. I don't know, almost looks like art. So what I'm going to do now is cut off the tag and just hot glue this in place. Nobody will know now that it's just from the Dollar Tree. All done. just to put it back in the frame. And this is now ready to go up on the wall. This has cured now for a few weeks and I have some pencil marks to wash off and a picture to hang. It really takes only one extra step to get perfectly crisp lines. You just have to paint a strip of the base color underneath. How awesome is that? Okay, I know I said I had three pieces of wall art to put here, and I still do, but I need offcuts from the wallpaper that I'm using down at the other end of the hallway. So, to see the full reveal, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with another project. Bye! Now that the taping's done, the real, it's time for the real magic, come on. I'm gonna paint over the tape, and then what happens? Oh, to create a seal. It's so hard to say that, three thrifted frames. But anyways, I'm just using some, oh, what is it? 
hand. Mm, um. Let's do that all over again. 